Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay, and in this quick video, I'm going to go over high frame rate mode using the Sony RX100 Mark VI. It's one of the most impressive features of this camera, in my opinion, and uh, it's just one of those things you've got to try out. Basically, what high frame rate mode is, it gives you super slow motion. All right, so let me just show you what the settings mean and how they work, and then we can then I'll show you what you can actually get using this amazing slow motion feature. So on the menu number two here on the top, which is movie, we're just gonna scroll down to HFR settings, okay? And then when you click that, here's your different settings. Now you have record setting, frame rate, priority setting, and record timing. So let's go over record setting first. And basically what this means is, this is the output of what your footage is gonna get put into. Okay, so depending on what you normally shoot your videos at, I usually shoot at 24p, and uh, that's the cin cinematography frame rate in general. So I usually shoot in that mode, but this is what it's gonna output the slow motion high frame rate video to. Okay, so it's gonna take the super slow motion footage, then it's gonna convert it to this format, whichever one you pick, and then it'll write that to the memory card. Okay, so that's what the record setting means. Frame rate is the actual high frame rate mode you're using. 240 is gonna yield you the best possible quality, but not the slowest slow motion. So 240, like I said, is 10 times slow motion when you're shooting at 24p. That will change if you're shooting at like 60p, it won't be as slow, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, I'll show you here, 480, that's 20 times slow motion, see that? And then 960, you're looking at 40 times slow motion. Now. And 960, that's definitely like the most killer slow motion, but it's noisy and the quality isn't near as good as 480 or 240. I find 240 is by far the best, and I just end up using that most of the time because it just looks significantly better than the other two. Although 480 is pretty good, 960 is pretty bad, as you'll see in the sample footage, but it does offer that killer slow motion. And if you have really, really good light, you can get away with using 480 and 960 and have much better quality. But in low light, you're definitely gonna be limited to 240 if you want any kind of decent quality. Now, priority setting. This I actually just played with today. You can basically have quality priority or shoot time priority. Shoot time priority is gonna give you a longer period of time that it can record in slow motion because you're basically limited to a couple of seconds, you know, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. Quality priority is gonna give you the least amount of time. Shoot time priority is gonna give you the most amount of time. And that depends directly on what frame rate you're using, okay? So 240 frames per second, you're gonna get the longest possible time. 960 frames per second, you're gonna get a shorter amount of time, okay? Now record timing. This feature here is critical. You have a couple different settings. You got start trigger and you got end trigger, okay? Now what this means is start trigger um, basically means when you hit the record button, that's when your slow motion video starts recording. End trigger basically means when you hit the button, it's done recording. Okay, now that might not make sense to you at the moment, but what, watch when I show you how this works. All right, so now we're in high frame rate mode, okay? Um, so I just pressed the shutter button to get into that mode because I already have the dial set. And basically when you press the button, let's see, let me hit the display here. If you hit the display button, it'll cycle through um, your different view modes here. So proceed shooting standby. Whoops, I have my focus point here. I'm moving around the touch screen. I want it on that line right there. All right, proceed to shooting standby, pressing the center button, okay? So basically, when you're in this mode, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, but that's pretty much all you can do, okay? You can frame your shot how you want it. Once you get your shot how you want it, then you hit the center button. Okay, now, now the camera is currently buffering, okay? So it's recording right now to like the RAM inside the camera. So when you have it set to end trigger, when you hit the movie button, it is actually recording this whole time. It's not like recording it to the, to the memory card, but it's recording within the buffer of the camera. So when you have it set to end trigger, when you hit record, it's gonna capture like a couple of seconds before you hit the button. Now what that feature is good for, basically, when, when you are uh, trying to capture a stunt, like say somebody popping a balloon with water in it or something, it's almost impossible to time it correctly. So in those cases, that's when you would wanna use end trigger. All right, so for example, I have a ball here. Now let me just go back into the menu and change it to end trigger. Okay, end trigger. I'm just gonna hit the shutter button, get it in standby. 
All right, see how it's preparing? So it's recording right now. It's like filling up the buffer. So we just gotta wait. All right, so now when I hit the movie button, it's gonna record like four seconds prior to the capture. So I'm gonna bounce this ball in front of the camera, okay? Like this. All right, now I hit record, so now it should have captured the ball coming down. Yeah, see? That's me just showing you what I'm gonna do, and then I let go of the ball. You see how it's like re recorded previous, before I hit the button? Yeah, it actually recorded quite a few seconds. Because now I dropped the ball, I think, the third time here. Watch. There it is. So as you can see, it recorded quite a bit before, and now it's writing it to the card. All right, so that's what end trigger does. It captures before you hit the record button, okay? It's like, you know, whatever it is, five, six seconds before you record it. Now I'm going to go back to the menu. Oh wait, I have to hit this center button first. See, when I'm in this shooting standby mode, you can't do anything. So you have to hit the center button to get out of standby mode, all right? Then once you do that, then you can go back into your menu. All right, so end trigger half is just half the time. So it's just gonna record half the time before you hit the record button. So I'm gonna change it to start trigger, okay? Now when it's in start trigger mode, all right, so it's ready to go. Now when I hit the record button, it's gonna start recording when I hit the button, okay? So I'm just gonna get the ball ready, and then I'm gonna hit record, drop it. All right, so that's it. But again, when you can't tell like when exactly the stunt is gonna happen, that's what the advantage of end trigger is. And it really is useful. So if you know when the stunt's gonna happen, it, it, you know, it works out pretty easy. So that's the different modes in that regard. All right, that's pretty much it when it comes to high frame rate mode. There's really not that much to it. And while it's recording here, you just have no choice while it writes to the memory card. You gotta wait. You can cancel it, of course, but that's pretty much it. So. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please ask below. I will be happy to try to help you to answer. Please stay tuned, and I'm going to show you all the different slow-mo footage I got. I took a whole bunch of different slow-mo footage, all different varieties, all different scenarios. Try to give you a good, uh, you know, a good taste of what you can do with this high frame rate mode in the real world. You know what I'm saying? So check that out. And uh, again, if you have any questions or whatever, just let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out the Facebook page and like it. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, be sure to uh, have a good day. All right, I will catch up with you next time. Take care. All right, guys, so here's some slow-mo footage. Check out Bones Jones getting a drink of water there. This is at 480 high frame rate mode, so, you know, approximately 20 times slow motion. And you can see the quality looks pretty good. The light was pretty good. Um, Here's his big fat paw, look at this. Ba-boom. Shakes all around, he's got all that extra skin. Here's Jace jumping in the uh, pool here. And I just reversed it there so you can see what kind of cool effects you can do with the slow motion uh, video. The lighting wasn't that great in this shot, it was kind of dim, but uh, still came out pretty good overall. And this was at 480 as well. Now this one was at 960 frames per second. This is Layla, so you can see how much slower it is. So 40 times slow motion is really slow, but also it's a little bit more grainy. And I just sped it up there for a second to real speed and then slowed it back down again, just to show you what you can do with these cool clips. You know, you can break it up. You don't have to leave it at all slow-mo. You could, you know, change the speed back to normal if you want, but just by speeding it up. And just some fire shots. I thought the fire looked really cool. Um, it looked especially cool at 480 frames per second. It seemed to be like the magic speed to make fire look its coolest. Uh, 960 frames looks pretty cool too, but because of the low light, you know, it's really noisy and, and not really that usable. But it still looks pretty cool overall, I thought. And here's just another angle, just a different type of composition looking at the cherries and stuff. And uh, the fire definitely looks really cool in slow motion, I think. And now I just opened up a delicious Guinness Stout. Uh, phenomenal beer. Has nitrogen in it, so it uh, looks really cool when you pour it out, like the bubbles and stuff. And this was just at 240, which is only 10 times slow-mo, so it would have looked a little cooler, even slower. 
but I was I wanted to show you maximum quality and 240 is definitely the best quality for the high frame rate mode. All right, guys, so this is the last clip, just this beer being full, and uh, I definitely enjoyed drinking it, I gotta say. Delicious, frosty beverage. But in any event, uh, I hope you got what you were looking for in this quick video. Please be sure to subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, there's also a tip jar below if you feel like uh, buying me a beer, that'd be awesome. And uh, that's about it, so have a great day.